Story 1. Self-Image and Confidence Age and hard living have transformed me physically into a much different person than I used to be, and this has had a negative impact on me mentally. Story 2. Self-Image, I guess. Low self-esteem issues and all that. At least there's one less thing to not like about myself. And no girl wants someone like me. Story 3. It is a nice display of discipline, persistence, and stamina, which I value and find beneficial to the health of both body and mind. Most people forget about the latter. Of course, it feels fine, too. Story 4. My main motivation was that my back was always hurting with no physical energy for anything, and my brain was always stuck in overdrive about work. Trying to get fitter has not changed this, but it has added muscle pain to the list. Story 5. I gave myself the goal that at the age of 30, I will be in the best shape of my life. In October last year, I first started working out, and I got serious about it from January this year. I noticed improvements all around, physically but more importantly mentally. When I have a bad day at work or just need to release the tension, I work out and feel better instantly. It also raised my confidence significantly. Right now, I want to be 10 out of 10 to not only look my best but also feel that way so that I can look for someone who is the same way. In order to have high standards, I am willing to put in the work myself. Story 6. In the beginning, I was just worried about my health. Now, whenever I walk into a room, immediately all the men look at me with respect and all the women begin fixing themselves up. It's some sort of primal instinct. I might sound crazy, but you'll only understand this if you're very fit. Story 7. I am fit. I am not extremely fit. I do not look very fit. I don't care about being very fit as I don't require it. I would like to look extremely fit because Superman is cool. I have a wife who is not extremely fit, and that is okay as she has blessed me with children. Somehow, she looks very fit, but I loved her just as much when she didn't. Apparently, I look extremely fit to her, and therefore she feels I am fit enough to be with her, and she is very fit. That's my motivation. Story 8. Does no one else just feel lethargic and irritable when they gain weight? I know I feel 10 times better thin and just more comfortable in my skin. Story 9. At first, it was for the girls, then for myself for a very long time. Now it's kind of both. I don't want to hate myself when looking at myself in the mirror, and should I ever find a partner, I want to look my best for her. Whether she's fit or chubby, I have a preference for chubby. Story 10. I am in the process of trying to become a firefighter. I want to be strong enough and capable enough to handle the challenges that it may throw at me, mentally and physically. Story 11. I've hit rock bottom at the start of the year and decided to work it out through pain, forcing myself to do as much as I can in the gym. At this point, I just keep going because I want to see how far I can make it. I keep pushing my limits and love it when I beat my previous records. Story 12. The positive side effects it can have on your mental health. In addition to helping your self-esteem and self-image, I believe the discipline you gain, as well as the self-trust you achieve from deciding to get fit and then doing it, is something that affects every other aspect of your life. Confidence is trust in yourself. Story 13. I was bullied a lot for being skinny, so I started working out. Thank the Lord, it seems I've been gifted with exceptional genetics, as I rapidly gained muscle mass at an alarming rate and got accused of using performance-enhancing drugs. Now I've reached my goals and become huge, but I still have some kind of dysmorphia. The bullying was really overwhelming. Story 14. The Mirror. I just love the way I look when I catch a glimpse of my abs. Secondary motivation. I like playing certain sports with friends, and I want to be able to do that at a relatively high level for a while. Story 15. The way that I started looking at life was that every workout, on average, will lengthen my lifespan. I've been living with the mantra that tomorrow's me will thank yesterday's me, and honestly, it has made me into a much happier person. I have always been a massive procrastinator, and I have a really hard time doing things for myself. So, by tricking myself into doing it for what would almost be another person, that being the future me, helps me be more willing to take care of myself. Story 16. I was diagnosed with a severe spinal cord injury in May. After months of trying all the conservative treatments, nothing is working so I have to get surgery. Once I get the surgery, 
My motivation is to protect the rest of my spine and stabilize my body enough that the Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome no longer cripples me. Story 17. Sex. Not only does it make my girlfriend more into it, it literally feels better in general, and also you can actually do all the crazy things you usually only see in pornography. It just makes it better in every way. Story 18. Multiple reasons keep me going to the gym four times a week and Muay Thai once. I want to be able to grow older as fit as possible and not spend my time going to doctors for injuring myself getting out of bed or off the couch. I have this zen feeling after I finish a workout. I look better in clothing and also naked. So even though I rarely have the motivation to go to the gym and would much rather eat burgers and watch Netflix, my discipline that keeps me going is much more worth it. Story 19. Honestly, I got called a twig my whole life. I worked out for two years and got absolutely shredded. I injured both shoulders and was out for over a year. I'm going on week five of starting back up. My true motivation to go now is I candy for my girlfriend and proving to myself I'm not a loser. Story 20. I want to live long. I want to be strong even when I am old. I want to be able to enjoy life, to walk or cycle in the mountains, to swim or to run. I want to enjoy different things in life. By being fit, I can have a positive outlook on my body, in mind, and also in life. I commented because lately, I lost all discipline and motivation to stay fit. I just want to type what I know I really want to do. Story 21. I want to be able to hold my kids and lift them up when I'm older and not allow my muscles to decay. Oh, and if someone is trying to harm my family, I can defend them effectively. Story 22. I would rather work out than drink. I was sober for a long time and all I would do was work out. I reached a point where I was starting to sit at 170 pounds at 5 feet 5 inches, but I fractured my leg in a bouldering accident back in March of this year. The debts started to pile up, the worry of the hospital bills, going back to working two jobs seven days a week, and being heartbroken by two women in a span of two months during July to September of this year just mentally broke me. I started to drink again and drank every night until last night. I decided to call it quits tipped one of my usual bartenders $10, and left without saying a word. Now I'm just going to go back to working out every night and fight my demons away. Story 23. I'm in my 40s with a toddler. If I plan to see her at least graduate college, I need to lose the beer belly and get that cholesterol and prediabetes in check. Story 24. Got divorced after eight years of marriage. I was already decently fit but very self-conscious about my body. I decided to start dating again one year after the separation due to human needs. Knowing that people will now be seeing me naked again at over 30, as opposed to when I was in my 20s, was a huge motivator. Story 25. This is frustrating, but regardless, I bought a Spider-Man suit a couple of years ago when I was fit. Since then, I have gained a lot of weight, and I want to get fit so I can look good in my Spider-Man suit again. Story 26. The older I get, my knees hurt and my back as well. I don't want to be 60 years old and not be able to keep traveling. I want to spend my retirement money walking around different cities of the world. Story 27. Maybe not as fit as I should be. But I started going to the gym so I can feel better, build muscle, and look like a man. Also, so my wife can be attracted to me like she was when we first met. Story 28. To not sweat so profusely all the time to reduce the amount of jiggling on my body and to feel good about my body in total boost my confidence and, though not the main motivation, to feel good enough to start dating again with adequate confidence. Story 29. I got my first panic attack and thought I was dying. I immediately quit vaping and caffeine and cut back from two alcoholic drinks a day to two per week. I started walking and running. Now I have a panic disorder, and the symptoms are worse if I am out of shape and not physically exerting myself. The running calms me down for a day, and the yoga and lifting help with posture and tension. So, I am running away from fear itself. Story 30. I've seen what it's like to get old, and if you don't take care of yourself, it's hellish. Trapped in a failing body, watching yourself fall apart and being unable to do anything you want to do. But I also just really enjoy looking good for my girlfriend. Story 31. It has done so much for my mental health. Fitness and fasting have made my life so much better. There comes a time where you must shed comfort, you must shed pleasure, in order to see the potential you have as a human being. Story 32. 
honestly, just the thought of getting good control over my body, the feeling of lifting something with ease when it was harder just a few months ago, is one of pure bliss. Story 33. It feels great. Spending a lot of time outside is almost meditative, being able to think things through or alternatively making yourself hurt in a constructive way has done wonders for my mental health, if nothing else. Story 34. Mine was because I always wanted to stand out. In my late 20s to early 30s, my nickname at job sites or work crews was 300 or Michelin Man. I'm six foot three, never had protein powders or steroids. I was lean as can be and extremely vascular. The fitter I got, the more motivated it made me as I would always get compliments when out. Story 35. Ever since I've been giving a decent effort to my workout, I look good no matter what I'm wearing. Baggy, comfortable home clothes? Looking good. Cheap clothes? I still look good. It's great. Story 36. When I started noticing muscle definition, I was happy, so I worked out harder. I started developing resting abs and was happy, so I worked out harder. Women started complimenting my physique during sex, so now I can never stop. Story 37. I started with physical therapy for back pain, and it worked. The main motivation is to prevent that pain from returning. Now it's more of, I'm a petite woman. I don't have upper body reach or strength, so I'm focusing on core and legs. I live in a rough city, and I like knowing that I can thrust kick like an angry mule. Story 38. My parents have let themselves go from where they usually were, and their health is slowly declining. Health is the most important thing for my future, so I might as well focus on it as much as possible. Story 39. Not fit as a fiddle. The confidence it gives, that dopamine hit after I've achieved a certain number of reps in a workout, achieved proper form in some random exercise, and the calm those endorphins provide post-workout is truly remarkable. One of my end goals is to be able to do things that we do normally in our young ages for as long as I can. For example, cycling up that random hill easily, jumping over a fence and whatnot. Story 40. The amazing things the human body can do once it gets fit are just incredible. For example, how I was able to manage three sets of 35 push-ups at my current weight of 80 kilograms, while I could hardly manage three to four when I weighed 125 kilograms a year ago, is just astonishing. Story 41. Being a more fun dad, able to get off his ass and play along with his kids, whether it's soccer, swimming, or tree climbing. Not just a standing by and watch the kids play dad. And no, I'm not getting exactly fit as can be, but a lot fitter than I was the first eight years of being a father. Story 42. Depression just vanished. No drugs, no lifestyle changes, no trauma or therapeutic anything. After over two decades of misery, some veil has been lifted away. I want to live forever. I want to spend every day making my wife happier than the day before. I love her, need her, and owe her greatly for dealing with this mess. Story 43. I'm not really motivated to get fit as anything, but I am heavily motivated to exercise regularly because it makes me feel good and keeps my mental health in check. Or as Joe Rogan famously says, it keeps the demons at bay. But I also have some motivation to get fit because the less fat I am, the better I feel too. Story 44. Nothing else to do in the location I'm in other than lift weights, cardio, and be at the gym all day. Living in Dallas seemed to be the strongest I have ever been. What am I going to do in Dallas? Now that I'm in Colorado, I'm just in the woods all day chilling and can't possibly imagine being in a gym for 10 minutes. Story 45. Honestly, my main motivation is just wanting to feel stronger and more confident in my own body. It's not just about looking fit, but also about having the energy to tackle whatever life throws at me and knowing I'm taking care of myself long term. Plus, staying active is a great stress reliever. It's like a mental reset every time I hit the gym. Story 46. I want to be able to attract a healthy and fit partner in the future while also bringing my own good qualities to the table. Also, I feel like calisthenics and gymnastics look so cool, and I want to be able to do that. Story 47. I love feeling like I'm physically capable. If there's a wall I want to jump over, I can do it. Run for a few miles uninterrupted, no problem. 
lift my niece and nephew in the air and throw them about without injuring myself. Fine. My mood is highly influenced by my physical fitness too. I'm at my happiest when I am adhering to a good routine, but not overdoing it. It helps my otherwise poor ability to fall asleep. It's genuinely the most important part of my mental health, and I don't know where I'd be without it. Story 48. Two things that got me to start working out consistently. If they made a pill that had all the benefits of exercise, it would be the most effective drug that exists. You have 24 hours in a day, and you sleep for eight of them. That's 16 waking hours. Can you spare 45 minutes a day to better your life? Paraphrasing Arnold Schwarzenegger. Story 49. I was skinny all my life and got sick of it. I weighed 165 pounds and was 6 feet 2 inches in high school. Feels amazing to look like you can just beat anyone's ass. Story 50. It used to be for girls' attention. Then to be good at sports. Then to be good at my job. Then to be healthy. Now it's to be able to keep up with kids and be healthy. Story 51. It's a side effect of working out, being healthy and strong. As much as looking fit is fine, it's only the side effect among real goals like strength, stamina, and good health now and when I get twice as old. Another motivation is that it also greatly improves mental health. It's literally the cheapest thing you can do for yourself that has tons of advantages and is neither expensive nor very time-consuming. Two hours, three times a week is literally 3.5% of weekly time. You spend more time watching worthless videos or bad movies. Another motivation is that once you get fit and live a healthy life, you realize how bad your life was before that, and you never want to go back. Feeling sleepy, out of energy, trouble focusing, worse sleep quality, high sugar fluctuations due to a bad diet, never feeling full, and the urge for constant eating. It feels like living at 50%. But you need to experience the other side to realize that and understand how bad it is.